hello welcome let's take a look at this graphic design using a mobile phone we'll be using this application called pixel app the application called pixel app when you open a pixel app this is the first interface you are being given so without doing any extra work this is a page the first page you have when you open pixel app so today so this beginning portion let's just look at the interface all these icons we are seeing how do they work and what are the uses you know go deep into the icons we just first of all take an overview let's start with the icons at the top the first icon at the top left we have the plus icon this plus is to add a click on an icon it gives you other options for that particular icon so if i take the first one the plus you have text current date sticker shapes from gallery draw text is to insert a text by default you can see on the page it's already having new text a take text that's what you get current date it puts a date sticker all those stickers the kind of shapes then you have shapes, shapes like rectangle, triangle, line, square, and so on. Circle. When you take gallery, you can import something from a gallery from your phone. That means if you have an icon, an image they want to use for your design, you can take it from gallery. You also have draw. This draw, you can get a pencil to use it to draw your shapes. Secondly, on the top left, the next icon, we are not going deep into the uses. We are just looking at an overview of the interface. We are just looking at that overview of the interface. So secondly, we have the icon for save. We have save as project and save as image. Those are the two options you have there. Save as project will simply help you to save as a project so that if you need to modify you can come back and modify a particular project you are working on then the second one save as image is when you really want to export export here means to share and get a version or a copy because graphic design is all about text and images to make a beautiful design so if you have already had your design and it's looking good you want to share it you save it as an image it saves as a project it means you can still modify an image you cannot easily modify an image but as a project everything is still in raw form now you can still adjust maybe a color was blue you want to change it to red or white you can still do it with a project but with an image you cannot easily change that color when it's already in an image form so if you are working on a project that you are still working on you save it as projects but if you are already sending it to who needs it, we are already true. You save it as an image. The next we have share. This icon that has three dots as a share icon. Share can also be used to save. But the difference is with share, you can easily share it on social media, WhatsApp, and so on. So you just click share and then you can use any of these options to save. Can use you can save to gallery or you can share to the social media icons uh, they can see here there's facebook twitter google plus whatsapp and so on like i said we are not going deeper into how they work let's move on to the next one we will take back a look at how all of these options go but not now next we have this quote icon we use a quote icon to insert a quote like the first quote here you can have Quality is not an act, it's a habit. You can just click on it to insert the quote. And you can choose a language that you want to take your quote from, English or French. Which type of quote? Is it motivational, success, friendship, happiness, and so on? Like I said, we are not going deep. We are just seeing these icons, how they work. We have these three dots on the top right, the three dots. The three dots, you can see all the options. The first one use image from gallery is the same as adding and then you take birth 
from gallery like we saw that other time for the plus icon yeah full screen full screen the whole uh, page will be covered by a design you now have all these other icons like i said we will see how they work next we have use image from camera so you can snap something and use it and so on export image export is the same as sharing the image like i said save to gallery that's exporting image size let's say a design like you can see by default this green page that we are on now like that is green the page is green and it's like a square so if you are designing something that's maybe like a phone size you can use image size to arrange so that it should be like a rectangular format should not be like a square as this is currently then we have contact us this one we rarely use it but if you like to contact the developers of the software it's a good idea but it will not it's not for our graphic design we don't use it this tutorial remove ads we don't use it too remove ads means you should you should pay for it they should not be showing you advertisement but my little tip I would say to our advertisement, just switch off your data. Like currently now, I'm offline. So you don't see any advertisement coming and going to show me to click something and so on. That's my own tip. If you like to pay and support them, it's a good idea, it's a good move. You can do it. Then you have open.plp file. This dot PLP file when you save as a project. Will be a dot plp file so if you name your project and give it a good name when you are looking for it you just go to open dot plp file it will show you the list of projects that you have saved and then you can open one of those projects have this about you don't use it to exit exit is simply to uh, quit the software so if i click this exit the software closes let's look at the other options on the top this first one here that looks like a pencil is to edit. Pencil is to edit. You can edit by maybe renaming. The first one here is still the same pencil. It's renamed. Like here we have new text. If I click here, I can rename the new text and put in a different value. Maybe a name or anything. You have this copy. The second one is copy this double box the second option here copy the third one here is increasing size rotate and so on like i said i just look at the icons not going deeper that, than necessary very soon we will check more but let me just use this pencil and modify the text let me just write pc drills so that you can know who is talking or where the video is from let's take okay you can see i've modified the text by clicking on this uh, pencil and i click again on the pencil to modify the text that's all if i want it let's not go deeper into that let's look at the other icons you have here undo the next one here is undo when you have not yet done any modification undo is now highlighted but when you have done a modification like i've done now you see that this undo now is highlighted undo is this icon that points back to the left this other port with a lit is a delete bot icon and if you wind the video back to the beginning you see that this undo was not highlighted it was only after i modified this text that it was showing now that it's highlighted because i've done a modification and i can undo it then we have this plus this uh, search icon I don't, I don't want to use the undo because if i click it this text i've written will go back i think you get the idea you have this one here that looks like a zoom you can click here is to zoom zoom is to increase the size or let's call it visibility so when you click on zoom you can change the percentage of zoom maybe you can zoom it to a hundred percent zoom it to more than a hundred percent it depends on you to see some particular portions better then we have this one that looks like uh, a grid many many squares these squares is to show helps you so that you can know if 
everything you're typing is well centered. For example, you can see that I've clicked on the grid, but my text here is not really showing it's in the middle from what you can see here. So I can just hold it and drag something like this is more centralized. So the grid is just to help you know if it's centralized or not. You can add more of the lines, but that's just something we'll see further. To remove the grid, just click back on the same place to remove it. Then you have this other one after the grid of the, the two boxes. It will show all the things that are found on this page, the separate icons that are found on the page. If I want to remove a particular icon, I will just see uh, click on this view looks like the eye i can modify the other i can delete something i can lock something so that i should not be able to modify it so if i click on this eye my text disappears if i click back on the eye it appears back if i click on the lock and i lock the text i can no longer modify this pc address i've written here because it has been locked and that's how it goes if i want to delete i can just press the delete if I add more icons, all this left column will be filled with the icons that I've put on the particular page. Once I'm through with anything that comes on the screen, I can just tap back the same place where I took it to remove it back. This is a short one for this upper part. You can see the name of the app on the top left. Next video, we'll look at what is showing on the bottom. I hope you are understanding. Any questions you will ask, then we'll see how we can answer them. So next one, we look at the bottom before we start continuing to go deeper and deeper.